cannot hear you, brothers! Hurl yourselves at these walls in human filth! Die in our blades! I am Grimaldus of the Black Templars and will cast your carcasses from these holy walls! What's up everybody, Griever here, and today we are going to be doing a prop build, and we're going to be trying to transform this airsoft mask into a sort of kind of best I can get it replica to the faceplate of the helmet of Grimaldus, Reclusiarch of the Black Templars, and main character in the series of Hell's Reach. Now, Hell's Reach was a Warhammer 40k novel written by Aaron Dembski Bowden and then later turned into a fan series by Richard Boylan, which actually, it did get picked up by Games Workshop, so awesome job. Uh, but it follows the exploits of Grimaldus in the Battle of Hell's Reach on the Hive World of Armageddon. Now, if you want any more information on that, yeah, I ain't gonna have it. <laughs> uh, we've actually done a Introducing Friends series of Hell's Reach over on George's channel, so if you really want a good lore dive onto it, uh, I definitely recommend you go check out that. I'll leave a link in the description to the first episode below. But, yeah, Grimaldus is basically a badass, and he's one of the Astartes, which is the big guys in the armor from Warhammer. And the one distinct thing you notice right off the bat is the faceplate on his helmet is not a normal Astartes faceplate, it's a skull, and I don't mean like a tiny little skull, I mean like a full face skull. So, when I saw this mask, I'm like, oh, that it looks like Grimaldus, <gasps> ooh, and I just ran with the idea. So, and also being the Black Templar, obviously you can tell it's going to be black with the skull on it, and yada yada yada, so, but I'll go over the colors when I get to, when we go over to the workbench, but... Uh, the one thing I am going to be interested in seeing how well it actually comes out is not so much the paint idea, but the lenses. Because uh, Richard Boylan's series, it starts off in black and white. And eventually, as the series progresses, like color is slowly introduced here and there until I think it was episode 9 or 10, I believe, where like the Astartes actually got basically full color on them. And the one notable thing about... Grimaldus is the lenses on his helmet for his eyes were red so I did get a translucent red paint and hopefully it will work pretty well on this and I know this is smoked already so hopefully it's not going to be too dark but hopefully it's not going to completely black out the vision because I mean hey it's cool you know you never know you may want to be uh a reclusiarch of the Black Templars for Halloween or something, I don't know, but, you know, raven wings all the way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go over to the workbench, this way we can get a little bit of a closer look to what uh, the details of the mask itself. Uh, also, show you the options that also are available for this mask. Uh, go over the paint colors, and then uh, start taking this apart and getting to work on it. Okay, so we're at the workbench to give you a better look at the mask. I've already taken a couple of things off. Uh, one is this giant rubber piece, which actually goes in the mask right here, which is basically your cushion on it. And no, that's not the only cushion you do get. You do get a nice piece of soft foam to put in the forehead area, and this is just a peel and stick. Now, the mask itself is... I gotta say, it is really nice. It's got plenty of detail in it, which I'm hoping will definitely still show once all the black is on it, and will definitely, I know, show once the um, the bone color goes onto it. The mask has six attachment points for uh, the head, for the actual harness itself. So two on the side, two on the top, and then two on the side again. Now, if you are curious and maybe want to even get this mask, I will leave a link for it down below in the description. 
It is. It will be Amazon. It is not an affiliate link, so I am not going to be getting anything out of it. It's really just going to be there for anyone who really wants it and wants to maybe give this a shot themselves or do their own spin on it, whichever. So thank God I do have to say, though, the lenses will actually be able to come out because if you can see on the inside here, uh, these are not just like... Um, well, plastic welded posts those are actually screws so i can actually take this off so i can get the lenses out which will be a great great help and also you will notice there are these holes here on the side and that is because there's actually different versions of this mask uh when i got the instructions for it it had two giant air filters on it which looking at the instructions i believe are actually fans that you could actually use on this thing which Honestly, it's not a bad idea. Now, I'm not going to be doing anything with this at this moment. If I ever decide to revisit this, no, I'm not. Stop shaking your head yes. No. No. Um, if I ever decide to revisit this, uh, one thing you will note if you do if you do go and watch Hell's Reach is that basically where those air filters are, Grimaldus actually has giant air hoses coming out of there. So I have to say it's at least a good starting point on to, okay, I know where they're going to go. So that's, I got to say, a definite plus. Now, for the colors that are going to be going on this, I'm going to be doing a base of Duplicolor Flat Black Vinyl Dye. Um, one, I want to make sure that the paint is, you know, a really good solid paint that's going to go on here. And Vinyl Dye is always the way to go, especially for a base coat. Uh, and since the Templar, the Black Templars are armor is black anyway, it will definitely fill in the, the points there. Uh, I'm going to follow it up with doing the skull itself. This using this uh, Duplicolor Perfect Match. Uh, this is Wendleton White. And now the reason that I chose this particular color, which it's not showing unfortunately too well on camera at the moment. Uh, this was the only off-white that I could really find. Everything else was either just a bright white or it was a tan that was just way too brown. So this is really, if you're looking at it, kind of like a very light cream color. So that's why I went with this. I figured this is going to be the best thing. I also still have the, um, the effects wash that Arlene used on Magnus. So... I can always put a wash over this once it's all said and done to really kind of pop that uh, cream color and also hopefully be able to highlight it as well and also maybe darkening it a little bit. Now for the lenses themselves, as I had mentioned earlier, the, lens, the lenses on the helmet are red. So I decided to go with this, which is a translucent red lens paint, uh, mainly for taillights. So I'm hoping that it will be able to take to these lenses very nicely. Now, I'm not looking for a super bright red. I'm looking more just for a red tint, like a noticeable red tint. Like if you're looking at it, you can see the eyes are supposed to be red, not black or smoked, whichever. So, but then once everything is all said and done, I do have a crystal clear acrylic lacquer that I'm going to uh, cover the mask with. And that will definitely give it the nice armory shine. So that's all. And also, I didn't want the gloss kind of like interfering with any kind of, uh, you know, the frog tape or anything like that not setting properly. Uh, which also actually does raise one small concern of mine is that if the vinyl dye does not take to this very well, and it starts peeling as I am putting tape on it or taking tape off of it, it's going to create an interesting issue of one, how do I fix that? And then two, how do I do, like, how, how do I finish the paint then at that point? But I'll worry about that if I, if, and when it comes to that. So I'm going to go take the lenses out. I'm going to put the first layer of vinyl dye on it and we'll show you the results of that in a moment. And here we Okay, so a little bit of an update. I have the black vinyl dye on the mask, which, you know, obviously looks really nice. However, I have come to the conclusion of 
the die did not take, which is what my big fear was. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to let this sit overnight and hope to God it cures properly. And if that's the case, then yeah, I'll be able to tape off and I'll be able to use this. If not, I'm probably going to have to switch over to an acrylic for the uh, skull portion of it which means I have to get an off-white acrylic paint and do that. The other issue I've run into, the lenses. They are not taking that translucent spray paint at all. It's, I don't know what the hell is on it. I wiped it down with 70% um, isopropyl alcohol figuring, you know, clean off whatever gunk is on there. But the paint is just beating up on it. And I'm at the point of, I don't know what to do now at this point. So I honestly, I just went stupid and I just coated the whole thing to the point of like, it's actually dripping right now. So that's going to also go overnight. Hopefully that will dry and I'll maybe be able to get another coat onto it and that will fix it. If not, I, I really don't know how I'm fixing these lenses. So that's going to be interesting to figure that part out so yeah but that's where it stands right now and like i said i'm going to let this sit overnight and then weigh my options so okay so what i thought would be a nice fun afternoon project has turned into a massive project so i put the black on here and unfortunately as you can see on the nose here uh, tape wasn't working. Uh, I was peeling off the paint. I figured I would try uh, the clear lacquer thinking, okay, once the lacquer is on, that may fix it. But I tried it on the inside here and, you yeah, know, it still didn't work. So I am going to resign myself to actually hand painting the mask, which is gonna be interesting because this is all of like the Rathbone that I have from when Arlene did the uh, Magnus statue, so I really don't know what I'm going to do at this point with this. Um, these turned out to be utter garbage. This did not work very well on whatever material this is, so these are worthless. However, whatever this is worked really good. I was able to heat form it and still spray paint on it, or at least that stuff, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to try and cut out a pattern that is basically what I kind of got to the best I could of this. And I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to heat form it. As long as it fits in here, I'll spray it with the red tint and that should work. I mean, I'll be honest, this is not very see-through, but then again, neither is this. So... And also, this is just a huge, splotchy, disgusting mess. So, <sighs> wish me luck. Okay, so after much trial and tribulation, I have the new lenses for the mask. Um, I used that plastic sheet that I knew would actually work and take the paint. Um, and I even did some uh testing afterwards uh with the heat gun because this was done prior to it this was done after hitting it with the heat gun because that's how i got the curve into this is i just used the heat gun that we have and molded it now these look horrible but the lenses fit into the mask and honestly at this point that's all i care about is these will work and all I have to do is now get these tinted. So I'm going to clean up the giant mess that I've made for that. This way I can figure out exactly what I'm going to do with this. Probably going to wind up doing some acrylic painting on this. So, okay. So hand painting on the mask is now completed. I use this Citadel Wraithbone. It is a base paint. 
Uh, this was left over from the Magnus the Red model build, and I have to say it worked out really nicely. The bone color was, it's a really good dried out bone color. I'm going to put a dark wash on it just to darken it up a little bit, but also bring out all the highlights and stuff. So that's going to be done shortly. Now, in regards to the lenses, it they don't look like they're going to fit right, but trust me, they really do. The paint on this Plastilike took really well, much better than on the lenses that it came with. So I'm really happy they came out you know, usable. So I'm going to put the lenses back into the mask. Well, I'm going to do the dark wash first, then put the, the lenses back in, and then you'll see the results in a moment. So Grimaldis is now done. Um, I have to say this project went way differently than I had anticipated because one, I was really kind of bummed that the, uh, tape didn't work and the paint really didn't stick well to the plastic it's to the plastic in hindsight yes i could have sanded it but again i didn't want to like really overly mar it um i do have to say though the hand painting that wraith bone onto the skull itself actually i think came out really nice the lenses again Something I did not expect for it to not work as I had originally anticipated. So, yeah, redoing all those lenses, well, redoing these lenses and trying to cut them and cut them just right. I have to say, though, they did come out really good. And I had taken a picture of this and I actually shared it, shared it with a clowny. And he had mentioned, oh, you use sunglass lenses. And I'm like, no. I could have, but I didn't. But, yeah. I have to say, this looks amazing. Now, as you saw in the intro, <laughs> um, I was wearing this, but it's not a good thing to wear because, one, the lenses are really hard to see out of, and if I did have to do it again, I would probably just order red sunglass lenses, like cheapo things and you know, be dealing with that. Um, but also, surprisingly enough, this giant wad of padding isn't as comfortable as you think it is because I was wearing my glasses and it fit okay. I mean, it was still really hot because it's rubber, not foam. But I also tried doing a take earlier without my glasses on and it literally just rolled right up into my eyeballs. And I'm like, what the hell? But, yeah, so, project didn't turn out how I thought it was going to, but I have to say, I'm really, really happy with these results, especially with do after doing the dark wash over it. It really does look really nice. I'm very happy with it, but that's where I'm going to end it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think The Mask of Grimaldus came out. And have you actually watched Hell's Reach or not? Please let me know in the comments down below. I love reading them all and so does Arlene. So, and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. So, again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.